Friends, let us see how to use custom outputs in Texicom Elite panels. So before we can use these outputs, we need to define the outputs. Okay. So in Texicom Elite panels, there are two sets of custom outputs which are arranged into a predefined logic. Each set has got eight custom outputs. These are called custom output 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, it is that like it is like one 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 two one three. I'll show you. And all these outputs are pre-arranged in a predefined logic like this, like shown here. So out of this logic, we get three different type of outputs called custom output stage A, custom output stage B, and custom output stage A B. When does custom output stage A activate? It will activate when either output 1 or 2 and 3 and 4 are active. Custom output stage B will be activated when either 5 or 6 and 7 and output 8 will be active. Okay, And custom output stage AB will be activated when either stage A or either stage B is active so there is a or logic in between here now we have to see how to define this custom output stage a or b and then we have to see how to assign this software output now this is this custom output stage a and b is not a physical output it is a software output we have to assign this software output to a physical output which can be a DG output. I will show you. Now, for example, I want to define a logic where if my panel gets a guard alarm or a panic alarm, okay, I want a particular DG output to activate. So there is a or logic I want to use. Let us, let us see. We go to programming setup. We press six to go to system outputs press yes first we will define the custom outputs here in sixth position we find custom outputs we press yes now here custom output one is not used i will define custom output one comma one as guard alarm by default it is not used so to edit i press cross by default it is not used I scroll down system type area type now there are several groups of output types you have to check it and you must know where your desired output type is available so the guard output type is within area group type so I press yes so within this group the area here, here it mentions that it is by default alarm so first option is alarm let us scroll down here i find guard alarm i press yes now i have also the option of selecting or deselecting the areas for example i want to deselect area 4 i can press number 4 like this okay so here we are done let us press yes so what we see here custom output 1 comma 1 has been defined as guard alarm all right now let us go to custom output 2 again it is not used uh, let us edit it and we will change it to uh, panic alarm we press cross or let us say we want to change it to panic silent okay we press cross here by default it is not used now we scroll down we come to area group type and then we select yes here I have the option of scrolling down and changing the output type so I find here panic silent so now I will press yes now I have got the option of you know, changing the areas also if I want to I don't want to so I will not and I press yes again so what I see custom output 1 comma 2 okay is PA silent all right second custom output is defined as PA silent so we have defined one as guard alarm number two as panic silent okay so 
these are pre arranged in or logic now we go to output 3 so it is not used by default now here in our in order to you know in order for our logic to work this 3 and 4 should always be active okay should always be active now by default it is not used we press yes so here we see that the, in the attributes the i is on what does this i mean i means that it is inverted okay so by default it will be active only so i don't don't need to change in case it is not active i would have to press cross and then press number two to activate it so here it is active and i press yes so let us go to output four here we see that it is not used let us check its attributes it is already inverted so i don't need to change anything press yes so now here our outputs are ready one is defined as guard alarm two is defined as panic silent three is inverted although not used but inverted so it will be always active four is also not used but inverted so it will be always active so our logic is that either one or two when it is active my output a will be active so i am done here uh, output five six seven. let us check the fifth one also all these are disabled no problem let us check six all these are disabled no problem seven and eight so uh, we are good we press yes and we press menu button to go back now we have defined the two outputs actually we have defined one two three and four now we will go back and uh, we will return to digi outputs option all right in case you miss out just press menu to exit and then you can come back again one two three four press six to go to output programming press yes and then you can scroll down i want to change the digi output i want to assign this output a to digi output so i press yes uh, let us say i want to assign it to output one so output one is by default temper alarm all right now to change it we press cross first it shows the group type now the custom output comes under system type let us see here it is system type we press yes now within system type where is the custom output type we have to check um, custom 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 there are so many options here here we find custom one stage a all right so this is the stage a output custom one stage a that we are referring to we press yes so what we see here dg output one has been defined as custom one stage a all right so similarly i had the option of either selecting custom stage b or custom stage a b as well so as per my requirement i can select so now uh, this output is assigned and uh, we can press menu 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 and exit so now what will happen if if either i get a panic silent alarm or either i get a guard alarm my dg output one will be activated so there's a or logic implemented in the dg output one that's all friends thank you